how to pay yourself as a director of a limited company in tax year 2024, 2025. In this video, I'm gonna give you what I believe is the most tax efficient way to pay yourself as a director of a limited company this year. Now, just before I get into the contents of this video, just a few caveats. Number one, this is not financial advice. I am not an accountant. However, I have been making these videos for quite a while. This is the fifth year on the trot I have made this video and my figures always marry up to what my accountant recommends as well. Now, just before I show you the figures themselves, I'm gonna talk about all of the elements you guys need to consider because if you're gonna trust some random guy off YouTube to give you advice about which way to pay yourself, at the very least, I can show you how I arrive at my calculations. So let's get into the video. Up first, I wanna talk about income tax and the new thresholds for this tax year. So income tax is paid on your income stroke salary and it excludes any dividends. The income tax rates for 2024, 2025 are actually exactly the same as they were in 2023, 2024, as the chancellor has frozen for a few years. So basically as people's salaries go up, the tax brackets are still the same. It's called fiscal drag and the government get more money through tax. So they're not, they're not putting tax up, but they are making more tax revenue as they're not increasing the threshold. So the tax thresholds for this year are still 12,570 pound completely tax-free. That is your personal allowance. Then you've got the other tax thresholds in front of you there. You've got the basic rate, which is 20%, the higher rate of 40% and the additional rate of 45%. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you are lucky enough to earn over £100,000, you will lose £1 of personal allowance for every £2 you earn over £100,000. So by the time you've earned about £125,000, you will have completely lost your personal allowance, which means the money you earn between £100,000 and £125,000, you're effectively paying a 60% tax on. Up next, we have national insurance, as you need to understand how this works as well as this plays into the later calculations. So there are a few types of national insurance you need to understand as a director of a limited company. Up first, you have the LEL, which is the lower earnings limit. Now I call this the state pension threshold as if you earn above this, you will qualify for your state pension token and if you get enough of those over the years, then you'll qualify for a full state pension when you retire. So the threshold for this year, again, is frozen as it was in 2023, 2024, at 6,396 pound per year. So as long as you earn above that over the tax year, you will qualify for your state pension. You then have the primary threshold, and this is the point that employees, so you're an employee of your limited company, that is the point that you would start paying national insurance. Now, as with last year, this still aligns with the personal allowance. So 12,570 pound, exactly the same as your personal income tax allowance. That is the primary threshold for employee national insurance. The employee rates have been cut as you would have seen in the recent budgets. It was cut a few months ago and it's been cut again. So as of April, 2024, it's gonna be 8%, whereas I think last year it was like 13.5%. So we're gonna talk about it later on in the video and how that impacts my recommendation. So anything over that threshold, so between 12,570 pound and 50,270, which is the next level up, if you remember from the income tax threshold, and anything over that reduced is down to 2%. We then have the secondary threshold, which is when employers, so the actual business starts paying national insurance as well. So when someone's paying national insurance, the employee is paying it, and also the employer, the business is paying national insurance. Now this has a different threshold. This is 9,100 pound per year. So as soon as an employee is earning above that level, the business itself starts paying national insurance. And the employer NI rate is 13.8%, and this hasn't changed. And one of the big differences between employer and employee national insurance is over that 50,000 pound threshold. There is no reduction to 2%, it just continues at 13.8%. And when you combine those together, you are potentially paying as a business and yourself, because it's your business, you're paying 8% in employees national insurance plus 13.8% employers national insurance, which is 21.8%. This is why we pay ourselves a particular way to avoid this trap. We then have corporation tax as this comes into the equation as well. This is payable against net profits made by a limited company. So it's not about your turnover, it's about how much profit you have left and then that's what you pay the tax on. There are allowable business expenses that can be offset against the profits and this will reduce your corporation tax liability. So your salary and your employer's national insurance are allowable business expenses. Corporation tax rates for 2024, 2025 are exactly the same as they were last year. If you're making less than 50,000 pound per year profit, that is the small profits rate of 19%. 
anywhere between 50,000 and 250,000 pound, you get marginal relief. And then above 250,000 pound, it is 25%. And then finally, we have dividends, as this is gonna be the second way you pay yourself in addition to the recommended salary that I'm gonna give you shortly. So dividends are only payable to shareholders from profits or retained profits from previous years. So if your company isn't making any money, don't start paying yourself dividends unless you've got retained profits from previous tax years. These are not subject to national insurance or income tax and they can be paid throughout the year, which is where a lot of people get confused. They think they have to take an annual dividend, but you can pay it monthly, you can pay it quarterly, you can pay it annually, providing your figures stack up and you're making enough profit. Tax is paid via self-assessment. So with income tax and national insurance, you're probably gonna be paying it on a monthly basis, whereas with dividends, you'd do your self-assessments and you'd pay that on an annual basis. There is a tax-free dividend allowance this year of only 500 pounds. They keep reducing this. This was previously 1,000 pound last year and it was above that the years before and above that again the year before. So they keep bringing it down and we're down to 500 pounds at the moment. And the dividend tax rates for 2024, 2025 are as follows. So again, these marry up basically with the income tax thresholds. The only difference being the first one here where I've got 13,071 pounds. What I've done is I've added that 500 pound tax-free dividend allowance to that 12,570 pound personal tax allowance. That's why I start from here. So that's how much you need to earn before you start paying any dividend tax. Just one final note, you see I've got here plus unused personal allowance. So if you paid yourself less than the personal allowance, you can take the rest of that money as tax-free dividends instead. So that's dividends covered. Now, before I get into the actual salary, which is gonna come on the next slide, if you're finding this video helpful, I'd appreciate you hit the like button. And if you wanna see more videos from me, please subscribe to the channel. So my recommended director salary for 2024, 2025 is as follows. 1,047 pound 50 per month, which is 12,570 pound per year. And then anything above that, you will pay yourself with dividends and pay dividend tax on that. So what we discussed previously, that is how you'd pay yourself if you wanna earn above this every month or per year. So the reason I want you to pay yourself this way is it uses your full personal allowance. So up to 12,570 pound per year, you do not pay any income tax. It's above the LEL, the lower earnings limit national insurance threshold to qualify for the state pension and it's below the primary NI threshold. So that's the point at which employees would start paying national insurance. So you don't pay any employee national insurance, but it is above the secondary NI threshold. So you're, as an employer, your business will pay some national insurance. So from 9,100, which is the secondary threshold, to 12,570 pounds, which is how much you're gonna be paying yourself per year as a basic salary, you'll be paying that at 13.8% which is 478 pound per year, you'll be paying on national insurance. Now your national insurance payments are an allowable business expense. So actually you save 19% of that in corporation tax, which is 91 pounds. So actually you're paying less than 400 pound in national insurance. So this is why it's still a good way to pay yourself. And these NI payments will need to be made to the HMRC either monthly or quarterly. Sorry to interrupt the video guys. As I was editing the video, I realized there are a couple of points that I didn't make overly clear in the video. The first one is you might be wondering, why don't we just pay ourselves 9,100 pound to avoid having to pay this national insurance? Well, although we're paying national insurance between 9,100 and 12,570 at 13.8%, we're actually saving on corporation tax at 19%. So that difference means we're actually better off by paying a bit of NI because we can claim back more on corporation tax. So just to very quickly show you the maths behind that, the difference between the two is 3,470 pounds. So if we take 3,470 and times that by 19%, that is the corporation tax relief we're gonna get on this difference between 9,100 and 12,570 pounds. So we're gonna save nearly 660 pounds. So despite the fact we're paying 478 pounds in national insurance, we're still nearly 200 pounds better off by paying ourselves that way. The other question you might be wondering is, why don't we just continue paying ourselves a salary instead of using dividends as well? Well, if you continue paying yourself a salary above this 12,570 pounds, Firstly, you're gonna go into the 20% threshold. So you're gonna be paying 20% income tax on those earnings. And as soon as you get even higher up, you're gonna to go to the higher rates that we just discussed previously. But let's just say you got a 20%. And then at the same time, you're gonna have both employees and employers national insurance, which as we covered on the previous slides, is a total of 21.8%. So you add those together, and you've got a tax total of 41.8%. 
Whereas we pay ourselves this basic salary and then dividends on top. Once we get to £12,570, we've got no income tax to pay, so there's no 20% income tax. All we pay is 19% corporation tax on the profits first, and then we pay the dividend tax. And the first dividend tax threshold is 8.75%. So you're starting tax threshold is 27.75% versus 41.5%. I think those are the figures, but double check them on the slide. So I just wanted to explain those two points a bit clearer so you fully understand why I've come to the recommendation that I have. So back to the video. And just a final note here, if you are a husband and wife director team, or if you're a director and you've got a single employee, there is something called an employment allowance, which is up to 5,000 pound you can claim back in terms of employer, so business national insurance payments. Now, if you are a sole director, unfortunately, you do not qualify for this, but if there are at least two directors in the company or a single director with a single employee, so basically at least two people, then you can qualify for this employment allowance. And provided your employees don't use up all of this, you can use it for your own salary as well, which means this section here, this 478 pound, you'd be able to claim back so you wouldn't actually be paying it. So that is right, recommended director salary for 2024, 2025. If you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it. You could hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna see some of the ways that you can save tax by using allowable business expenses, I'm gonna pop up a video now that talks you through exactly that. And I'll see you guys over there.